Hey y'all, hey, it is B. Kirkpatrick and I am back with another video. So on today, we want to talk about RV winterization things that you might have or that you may need for this upcoming winter. As you know, I am in Texas and so we get a late winter around January, February. Around that time is when we have really cold weather. So um, since we're full timing in our RV now, I wanted to make sure that I had some key things that I did purchase. So I've gotten everything from Amazon so far. Of course, there's more things that you always need. And so if I miss something, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. So that way I'll know what I missed and can get it ordered. All right, let's jump right into it. So first we're going to talk about RV safety. It is a known fact that a lot of RV theft as meaning someone stealing your whole RV trailer. Yes, you heard me right. Your whole RV trailer goes up in the wintertime. I don't know why, but it may be because a lot of people, you know, park their RVs in the wintertime, especially if you're here down south. Um, they park their RVs and so they put them in storage and stuff like that. And a lot of times, um, yeah, they come up missing. So we're going to talk RV safety. So the first thing that I did purchase is I went ahead and opened this box was an RV hitch lock. And I got it in the color. Um, this pretty blue is um, the color of my RV. It has that blue, pretty blue strip down it. And this goes onto the ball mount part of your um, travel trailer and it also has an actual lock on there so that way no one can actually hitch onto your trailer and haul it off so yeah that was one of the main things that i wanted to purchase was that rv hitch lock so that way we can avoid rv theft this year okay haven't had it happen being that this is my first year in my rv and so we don't want to have that happen but that was one of the main things that came recommended to me um from the rv dealership and a lot of my rv friends here on social media and here um at the rv resort so yes i did purchase that and so that kind of falls into the rv safety part and i also have the little lock that goes on to um the other little part that goes on in the the front of the hitch so i have that one too so i have two locks and i have a actual battery box coming as well because people steal your batteries too so i want to make sure everything is safe and sound so we won't have to worry about rv safety all right, let's jump right into it. So the first thing that someone had recommended to me um, down in the comments on a previous video, which was a heated water hose. Yes, a heated water hose. Because you know that you hook all your water and your lines to your RV. And so um, during the winter time, of course, that water hose, if you have just a regular one, it's going to freeze up depending on how low the temperatures are and where you are during that time. Of course, if it's cold weather, that water is going to heat. I mean, excuse me, that water is going to freeze up. And so you want to make sure that you have a heated water hose to avoid that from happening. And so I did purchase this one from Amazon. Um, I forgot the price on it, but it wasn't really expensive. They can get real expensive. I've seen some that was up in the hundreds, but... Um, I want to say this one was no more than 50, 60 bucks. If that, I can't remember. Don't quote me on it. But definitely, if you've used this brand below, um, you've before, make sure that you let me know down in the comments how you liked it um, or what you didn't like about this brand. And if you have a certain brand that you live by, leave it down in the comments. I'm not particular to one specific brand. This is my first one. This is not going to be our first winner in our RV. So, hey, everything is a lesson learned. So let me know down in the comments. But yes, one of the main things that you want to get is a um, heated water hose. Okay. The next thing I purchased was an actual, um, the outdoor faucet covers. And so since we were talking about the um, RV hose, I went ahead and got the actual faucet covers as well. Let's see if I can get this open here. Here we are. And I think these came in a two-pack or three-pack pair. Uh -oh. When I say they got this in some deep plastic. Yep, I did use my teeth. I did. <laughs> 
But what this does is, and it has a little Velcro, and it goes over, it has like some type of little cushion. It's probably some type of installation in there. And you place this over the water hose part, the hose, you know, the uh, faucet part. And it has the Velcro strips on there so you can, you know, tighten it to make it tighter to go like that. And that way it helps insulate your um, faucet. So, yeah, and it did come with um, actual three. So, definitely if you have, I know a lot of the resorts and parks have um, multiple faucets that you can use. And so, definitely, you know, get your three pack. I don't think this one was like 20 bucks if that on Amazon. And so, this is the Gonle brand. So, I've never heard of that brand before. But it did have good reviews on it. And so, that's why I decided to go with these. And so, yeah. So I purchased those. That, those are the outdoor uh, faucet covers. The next thing I purchased was the RV vent covers. And if you can see right here, um, I have three vents in my RV because Daniel has one in his room. We have one in the main living quarters. And I also have one in my bedroom. And so um, these are actually good for not only just the winter time but it's also good for the summer as well it helps keep the heat out in the summer and it helps keeps the warmth in the heat in during the winter and so these just kind of cover um that vent to help any air or, you know anything going out or coming in and stuff like that so like i said this is something that was highly recommended from a lot of my rv partners and so, um, yeah, so this is one of the ones that I purchased. Now, this one does not have the cushion um, on the inside. This is just like, it kind of reminds me of the sun visors that you put in your car. That's basically what it is. And so, um, this one doesn't have the actual cushion in there. But I did purchase um, the ones that do. So, I did purchase two of these for the ones that do. And these two are gonna actually go in our, um, I purchased these for our bedrooms because you know, most of the time at night is when it really gets cold and the temperatures really drop. So I wanted to have the most protection, you know, when, when, when we're sleeping and all that good stuff. So this one has the um, vent insulator on the back. You can see the back here. I'll sit this one down so you can see um, the back. And on the front, it has that visor, you know, that aluminum visor part. And so it goes in the vent like this. And like I said, it keeps the air in during the summertime and it keeps the heat, I mean, yeah, then the heat out. Wait, I said that wrong. <laughs> it keeps the air from coming in during the wintertime and keeps the cool air in from going out during the summer. You know what I mean. But yeah, so I got two of these and these were really inexpensive. I think they were less than $20 for both of them. So definitely um, grab you a couple of these. And these are by the renowned company Camco. Um, you see them everywhere, you know, for as far as RV supplies and your local camping world stores, any type of camping store, you will find this brand. Even at Walmart. Walmart even has this brand as well. So I did purchase two of these for getting ready for our RV winterization. And let's see here. The next thing was this, this big old roll of, um, what do you call it? Reflective. I guess you got, you call it reflective. And I bought the roll. As you can tell, I took it out of the box and I just sat it to the side, but it's just the reflective. And this is going on the windows in the RV. Like I said, same, it works the same way, just like the vent covers uh, does. You put this on your windows, it keeps the air in during the summertime as well as it keeps the heat in during the winter time. And it also keeps your RV from getting really hot during the summertime if you're in hot places like a lot of my friends are down in Florida. And in the summertime, you know, those temperatures really, really, really rise. So they use this a lot in their RV windows to help keep that air in and keep the RV from heating up. And then also in the summertime, I mean, in the winter, during, you know, winter time, as far as the temperatures dropping, this helps keeps the um, heat in so that way you can stay warm in your RV. And the last thing that um, I purchased was something that we all should have. Um, even if you're not in the RV, I suggest that you have this even in your 
sticks and bricks home and that is some type of form of a portable power station um they can run various prices some of them go up into the you know thousands and thousands of dollars depending on the amount of, amount of watts you want to use um i've got this one i've also have another one and then i have the big generator as well so um of course you know during the winter time a lot of times when it's winter storms and stuff like that the power goes out the lines freeze or for whatever reason we have blackouts um if you were in here in texas a couple of years ago you know we had the big freeze and we didn't have power for at least a week or a week and a half and so and when it did come back on it was kind of staggered and it would only stay on for a small amount of time and then it would go back off so um having some type of portable power supply is you know key to surviving during the winter um during the summertime you can always plug a fan to this in the summer and when the power goes out as well as the little portable heaters i did i already have those um portable heaters during the winter time you know help keep you warm as well as help keep um you can use those portable heaters too with something like this if you know um, if the power is out to help keep those pipes from freezing underneath your RV. I learned that from a lot of my um, RV friends that have been RVing for years. So thank you, Stephanie, for their recommendation. I definitely did follow that and purchase um, some additional portable heaters just in case for, you know, specifically for that reason. So, yeah. That is um, it. Like I said before, these are just some of the key things that I have purchased for this winter, getting ready for winter here in our RV. Um, if you see anything that you think I need that I forgot, please let me know and leave it down in the comments. So I am going to get out of here and put this stuff up so that way um, I'll probably do another video of me actually putting this stuff up in the RV and so I can show you how to do it. Um, kind of like a how-to video. If you would like that, let me know down in the comments to see exactly you want to see how I did it. I'm not an expert, um, but I'll be more than happy to do so. All right, you guys, I am going to get out of here. Make sure you like this video. Give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that bell notification so every time I come with a new video, guess what? You'll be the first one to know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.